plasma turis in the treatment of prostate hyperplasia by Prof. Madhusudan Agarwal, Agra. The first step in the turis is a diagnostic cystoscopy. The entire bladder is visualized and the ureteric orifice in relation to the prostate gland is identified. Viru forms an important landmark in the resection. The resection is begun at 12 o'clock by placing the receptoscope at the level of Viru. The resection is proceeded along the capsule until the circular fibers of the bladder is made out. Beyond the circular fiber lies the capsule of the prostate. Injury of the capsular prostate is to be avoided. The resection is done until the circular fibers are seen. As the circular fibers are seen, the resection is stopped and proceeded along the 11 o'clock position. Here, one can make out the circular fibers being visible. The resection is then continued along the capsule beginning at the 11 o'clock position. The advantage of the plasma tourist is 1. The effective hemostasis is achieved simultaneously as during the resection and the other important thing is the utilization of normal saline which helps us to avoid the dilutional hyponatremia one of the dreaded complication of the TURP. As and when resection is being done we make sure that we don't extend beyond the vero. In case of resection beyond the vero, there are chances that the external splinter getting injured and the patient can result in incontinence. So the vero forms an important landmark during resection. As we work along the capsule, we can make out that the gland falls off from the lateral lobe, thereby making the resection much more easier as there is not much bleeding. Again, the circular fibers of the prostate make out the important landmark beyond which resection is to be avoided. The fallen gland is now resected off and there is not much bleeding. The resection is proceeded from the 1 o'clock along the capsule up to 6 o'clock. Once the lateral lobes are finished resected, we now concentrate along working along the 6 o'clock position that is the resection of the median lobe. The resection is done in the same manner as the lateral lobes proceeded up to the circular fibers, making sure that viru is not crossed. As we work along the median lobe, we can note that there is not much bleeding as the gland is devoid of the blood supply. As the resection is getting completed, one can make out that prostatic fossa is wide open and the channel is wide enough to provide an adequate urinary stream. Any bleeding points are coagulated. Once the procedure is done, we evacuate the prosthetic bits by using a elix evacuator and a folis is placed for about 48 hours. This is a wide open prosthetic fossa and this completes the procedure.